My name is John Bennett. This is my son, Reed, and we farm about 500 acres of blueberries. We have, on a portion of our farm, we have five orchard right wind machines. We bought our first wind machines in 2011, and we currently operate five. One on high density, high bush, and four on a 60 acre rabbit eye track. On the fields that we have wind machines, one thing that, that lets us know that the wind machines are effective is it's easy to go around the perimeters of the field in a square field when your wind machine is in a round circle and you can see that the perimeters or extremities have less fruit on them than the, than the part of the field that's protected by the wind machine. After our first year of using our wind machines in both rabbit eye and high bush, we were very confident that it was a viable tool for frost protection with or without overhead frost protection. Our observation of running wind machines in conjunction with overhead frost protection is that <clears throat> the work that the ice has to do is less because the overall ambient temperature in the field is, is higher than it would be without the wind machine. We have confidence in our wind machines to give us four to five degrees of an increase in ambient temperature when there's an inversion layer and the wind's low. In our rabbit eye fields, where we have our wind machines, um, if you improve your crop by 2,000 pounds a acre, it's going to be on the early berries because the early berries is what the frost is going to take out. And, and it also minimizes the amount of spraying that you might have to do that year because you don't have damage to the bloom. In the past five years, we've been operating our Orchard Right wind machines. It's my opinion that they definitely could pay for themselves during one night of frost protection. Another, an added plus for wind machines for us has been that we can dry blueberries. If you have dew formed and you get out there in the morning and everything's wet, you can get in the field two hours early by cranking the wind machines up. I've observed when I run my wind machine on heavy dew mornings that the wind actually smooths the small droplets of dew on the leaves and the berries, which causes them to dry much faster. One of the things about ultralight machines that seems a real good thing to me, and I first didn't, didn't buy into it, but the auto start, it seems very reliable. And you will have the machines come on on nights when you didn't even realize it was got that cold in the cold areas, the cold spots. So. With the auto start, you don't have to make the decision. You set it, and when the temperature gets to 34, that's what we usually set it on, 34, it cranks up and does its work. 